Hello my friends, today we are going to edit a hummingbird photo in Luminar Neo. And uh, right now I am into Lightroom. I just want to show you something really quick in here. I think I decided we were going to edit this image. It's a hummingbird image. And normally I would never pick an image that uh, it's looking straight out at me. I do not like the way the beak looks. But the other images that I took with the beak on the side where it has a nicer profile, you can't really see the red from under the throat. So I decided to not go with one of these images and just go with the other one instead. So as you can see, this might be a better profile, but just the colors, you can't see them so well. And I really wanted to see that red on the neck. So we were going to go with one of these images over here. Let's see which one was it. I think it was this one. We can see this vibrant red orange color. But before I send this to Luminar Neo, let's just look for a second. I shot this with my uh, Sony A1, one two fifty of a second handheld f6.3 and ISO was 400. 400 is not a high ISO for my A1, but anyway, I like to send it to Topaz Denoise to just remove the noise because I hate having noise in my images. So we'll do this really quick. We'll denoise the image and then we'll send it to Luminar Neo and we'll do our normal edits. And Denoise AI opened the image. And if you've been watching my videos, you will know I do not like to use the auto uh, setting. I like to use a manual and I like to keep both of my sliders at 15. I think that gives me a good result pretty much for every photo I have and I keep it on standard. And now if I zoom in into 200%, let's see, let me move it a little bit to the side over here. You can see this is the noisy side and this is not noisy. See that before and after, before and after. And I am going to apply this and our photo should be noise free. Now, one more thing I would like to do before we send it to Luminar Neo, let's, um, let's crop it really quick. And even though I have a pretty clear background, the bird looks so small, I want to do it in a portrait orientation and something like that looks good to me. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the image and we'll go with that. Great. Now that we have our image, let's just send it to Luminar Neo. We'll go to photo, edit in, and where is it? Luminar Neo. I'm gonna edit as the copy. And there you have it. Now we'll go to edit and we'll start from the top down. We'll start with develop. I am going to up the shadows so I can see a little bit more detail, especially on the head and the eye. I might be even no, I do not want to increase the exposure. And let's see. I'm just going to that for now. I will close the develop. I will open it again. And this time I want to focus more on the body of the bird. So I will increase the exposure. I will go to black and white. I will increase the whites and take down the blacks. Something like that to give it more contrast. And now I will paint this adjustment on the belly with a brush. Something like that looks good to me. And this is our before and after the brightening, before and after. I will close the develop, open the develop again. And this time I want to work a little bit on the eye. I want it to be brighter, uh, to just stand out a little bit more. So I will increase the whites, increase the exposure a little bit and bring down the blacks. And now I will just paint that with a brush just on the eye. Something like that. And let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. It just stands out a little bit. Now let's start working on the neck where the beautiful colors are. I will go to, let's see, first I want to brighten it a little bit. So I'll go to develop, I'll increase the whites, and then I will mask it with a brush. And I'll just paint on these beautiful reds. All right. And now that I have a mask for this, I can go to my mask and copy it. So I'll do copy. 
I'll get out of the develop and I'll go into color and I'll go to the HSL. Let's go to mask, mask action, and I will paste. And now the adjustments I will do in the color, it will have that mask, so it will only affect that red area. And let's see, we'll go to saturation or we'll increase the orange saturation, increase the reds a little bit. And then if we go to luminance, we can even brighten them out so they really stand out. And of course, because this is a YouTube video, I will exaggerate it a little bit just so you can see it. But normally I will dial it down a little bit. Actually, if you go look at my Instagram, you'll see this exact image I edited. I edited in Lightroom and Photoshop and it's a lot more toned down. But for this tutorial, we'll keep everything colorful and beautiful. Now the green on the head, I wanted to stand out a little bit more. So I will go to my color again and this time I will go to the saturation and I will increase the green. Maybe I'll even lighten it a little bit. And that didn't affect it much. But let's see, I will paint it with the brush just on the head. Let's see what this does. And this is our before and after. Before and after. It affected a little bit. Great. What else do we want to do? Let's add a little bit of enhance. And this is our before and after. It didn't affect it that much. I might even add a little bit of structure. Just a little bit. And I will paint it into the bird. There you go. This is the before and after. What else can we add? Let's see the whole image so far. This is our before. This is our after. Before and after. It's a big difference. It just pops up. It looks beautiful. Let's see if we can color grade this image, maybe add an overlay. I have not prepared anything for this video, so I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. I have not edited this image in Luminar Neo, this is my first time doing this, but like I said, I did edit it in Photoshop and Lightroom. I will try this green overlay, and as you can see, it's just a plain green, blue, cyan. Um, I'm going to change the blending mode maybe to overlay. Maybe that's a little bit too much soft light maybe soft light is better and then i want to mask out the bird from it so i will go to brush and i will paint it on the bird and i should have chose the erase but instead i did the paint so because of that we will have to inverse the selection So right now I'm applying that overlay to the bird instead of the background, but we will fix that because I forgot. So now we'll just have to inverse it. So we'll go to masking and mask action invert. There you go. Now our background is um, green. I want to feather it a little bit more in because I can see some haloing. So I am just going to go with my brush a little bit bigger just kind of paint on the edges of the bird that way it's not so obvious that we added some green and there you go much better you can still see it a little bit maybe I'll add more something like that it's not bad actually the bird feather is green on the back so uh, this just makes it look pretty natural We'll keep it away from the belly and there you go this is our before and after before and after i apologize for my dog she does this every time and it's nothing i can do about it let's add the same overlay one more time and this time i will maybe choose multiply and I will reduce the opacity, something like that. And for this one, I'll go to masking, to the brush, and oh, let's not do a brush, let's do a radiant gradient. And I will just 
make a gradient gradient like this. I just want to produce a vignette. And let's see. That looks good. We have a beautiful vignette. And this is our image before and after, before and after. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.